All right, guys, just back with another video here. So we got some really interesting news here. This is from Canada Proud. It says, new poll predicts Pierre Polyev will win a super majority. And we don't actually have that here in Canada. It's just you either win a majority or you win a minority. But I know what you're saying or what he's saying that, you know, getting well over 200 seats absolutely seems like a super majority. But I, um, I digress. So... Here it says source abacus data July 14th, 2004, analyst by at Real Albanian Pat, which I believe is John Charest. So here we see that as of yesterday, or sorry, July 14th, so two days ago, it's projected that Pierre Polyev is going to now get 230 seats. The highest we've seen before, I believe, was around 220. This is a new high for Pierre Polyev. 230 seats with the, the block actually getting 45 seats liberals getting 41 in third place and the ndps well in fourth place with just 25 seats and then abysmal elizabeth may with two seats if she even gets that so i mean again this is just great news but it's also hilarious news because anytime you see the liberals fall back not just out of first place but out of second place it's just it's just always going to be funny to me it's just the way it is right now if you go over here to john charest's twitter he actually posted something from july 11th kind of showing that the conservatives actually looked like they would have 245 seats so i'm not sure where he got that and the liberals at 44 but this was a few days ago like even before the 14th so i'm going to assume that they maybe there's an error from john charest on the the post that he made on the 11th and maybe this is just a correction i'm not 100 percent sure but it does look like pierre polyev is getting closer and closer to that 250 seat mark which yeah that would be I, I don't know if any other parties ever hit 250 before so it'd be kind of cool to see it um but, but yeah that being said guys this is great news for pierre paul yev if you do not like justin trudeau this is also great news for you because as we all know he's just such an awful prime minister and he needs to be gone as soon as possible i also do believe that he is going to uh, or I believe that we will actually see an election before October of 2025 because the interest rates in uh, Canadian mortgages is actually going to start going up. And as of June, uh, sorry, January 1st of 2025, a lot more people are going to feel more, even more financial pressure. They're going to have to pay more money uh, every month on their mortgages. And of course, some people will lose their houses after this, unfortunately. But that being said, it's just another thing that's going to hurt Justin Trudeau. And I believe Jagmeet Singh, I think, and you have to fact check me on this, but I believe that he gets his pension as of next April or May. So I think that once April, May, maybe even June rolls around, there's going to be just even more blowback or pushback from uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. And I think even Jagmeet Singh, once he gets that pension, will say, okay, listen, the numbers are just so far in conservatives' favor. We're six months away. Let's just have the election now. And by that time, <clears throat> this number here for Justin Trudeau, 41 seats, may continue to go down, and some of those people may flop to the NDP. And I think if once Jagmeet Singh qualifies for his pension, and if he can get close to taking over third place, pushing the Liberals back even further to fourth place, I think there's an even better chance he calls for like, or holds a, a vote of non-confidence because him and the, the Liberals, or sorry, the NDP Jagmeet Singh and the Pierre Polyev led Conservatives would absolutely uh, vote for a non-confidence. They just need the NDP to do it. And I think that at that point, A, once the mortgages have gone up so much that a lot of people have foreclosed on their house or there's a default in the payment of the uh, other the other mortgage payment. And then once Jagmeet gets his pension, he can just turn on Trudeau. And if the numbers are closer, or let's just say it's, you know, it's projected that Trudeau gets 35 seats and Jugmeet gets 31. At that point, it's so close. Maybe you do go and call a uh, call for an election as Canadians want. Maybe you can get some of those liberal votes. You're not getting any conservative votes. Sorry, Jugmeet, you just spent way too much time propping up this government and Canadians aren't going to forget it. So that ain't happening for you, pal. But maybe you can come in third place ahead of the liberals. Make yourself look better than you actually are. Either way, it's a it's a pretty good day to be a Pierre Polyev supporter, or at least I shouldn't say I'm a Pierre Polyev supporter. I just support him beating Trudeau, and then once he is in office, I will be absolutely hammering him if he does dumb shit too. Right? If he prolongs this this 
conflict overseas, then yes, I'm going to criticize him for that because we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be involved in every, any other country's wars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things he could do to you know, piss people off. And when he does, if he does something that pisses me off, I will be calling him out for it. But and that, be, that being said, I am definitely supporting him to overtake Trudeau and become the next prime minister of Canada. Even though I'm not a conservative, I am going to be voting conservative for the next election. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that Pierre Polyev can actually hit 250 seats? Or do you think he's going to kind of level out around here or maybe get even less? I always uh, like listening and reading what you guys have to say in the comment section. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.